Darcy, my darling, uh, we are so blessed to have you on our TVs again for the new season of Before the 90 Days. I got to talk to you, first of all, about how you're doing during the corona stay-at-home times. Are you with your daughters? Are you with your sister? Are you with Tom? <laughs> first of all, thank you for having me here today. Yes, I'm in Connecticut at home with the family, my daughters, Stacy. Uh, my father and um, yeah, just laying low right now, um, but just, you know, working on ourselves and just enjoying family time and embracing, you know, the moment and trying to be positive about it all, staying strong. Um, it's such a tragedy what's going on in the world today and, um, you know, we all got to stick together and stay strong so it doesn't spread. So being at home is a place right now. What's kind of, uh, I don't know if funny is the right word, but for the 90 day people, you guys are used to communicating on Skype and on FaceTime and all that. Yeah. So you're kind of, what tips would you have for people since you've done this with many long distance relationships? What are the best ways to get close with someone through a screen? Absolutely. I mean, I've been down the block before, you know, on FaceTimes all the time with um, you know, relationships overseas. So kind of used to the, the one-on-one -on -one through video. And um, I think, you know, we need to just embrace that moment and just communicate together as best as we can, stay positive, give each other, you know, affirmations, hope, yeah. and, you know, little reminders of little things we can do, you know, for yourself and for others throughout the day, whether it's self-care tips, and just let everyone know that, um, you know, you still love them and you're, you're there for them. Yeah. I got to ask you, I mean, luckily we have this season on our TVs right now and we are all uh, supposed to be staying at home as we should, but thank God for before the 90 days. Um, so what can we expect with this next thing we're going to see between you and Tom, which seems to be you may be going to New York to see him. First, I want to ask you, you had seen the photos of Tom with another woman. So why not just end it right then and there? Well, I think the episode might be coming very soon. Um, Sunday nights are a very exciting night to watch TV. <laughs> and um, yes, I made a trip to New York. Um, he knew at the time exactly how I felt. There was a little bit of a lack of communication um, during the time when we were getting, you know, you know, we chose to give things another go. And I just felt I deserved the respect of communication and not be dangled, I guess you could say, in, in a sense. And when I saw the pictures, he knew I felt how I felt about it. but. I think through communication, you can understand what happened, what was going on. Um, I don't like to be left in the dust. So when you're in a relationship, you, you just, you want to know exactly what's going on. And I deserve that respect. So he did happen to come to New York for business and um, we decided to meet and you guys will see the outcome. Well, we've heard your friends, people close to you saying, they can't seem to break apart from each other. Darcy and Tom just can't seem to break apart. Why is that? What is that pull that you guys have? You know, Tom and I always had a very close bond, close relationship over the years. Um, even when I was in a relationship with Jesse, you know, you know, hello every once in a while. It was really nice to hear how he was doing. Obviously, we, we were not in a relationship at that time, but there was always a connection, um, a friendship first and foremost. Um, I trusted him. Um, and then after the breakup with Jesse, obviously, we rebonded and I got to experience the beautiful time I had, you know, overseas visiting him for um, that time. And um, also Stacy and Florian got to meet him as well. And there's a lot of amazing times, you know, it's ups and downs throughout it all, no matter in what relationship. But um, yeah, I just think that um, when I got back home, you know, the communication kind of broke down again. I personally am used to long distance. Maybe he wasn't. So maybe the fear of that kind of, um, you know, made him second guess some things. but. I was always there for him. I always um, was very open about, you know, how I felt about him. So he knew exactly, and I just wanted the same respect in return. Yeah. Um, you, mentioned, you mentioned Jesse. I mean, we've watched you and Jesse's relationship, now you and Tom's. Which relationship would you say you had like a stronger physical chemistry in, and which one a stronger emotional chemistry in? And, and which one involved more heartbreak? Um, well, when I met Jesse at the time, um, I was in the States. We talked for about four or five months prior to going to Amsterdam. And, um, you know, I heard everything from him that I thought was real and right. And I just followed my heart. That was a two year relationship. It was toxic at times. There was some beautiful moments, um, but there was a lot of, you know, things that were kind of hard to work through. He was obviously much younger than me and um, I have children. 
um, we did talk about a big future together. So when things started to break down, it was kind of like, you know, I, I feel like I deserved better than that as well. Um, I did try to stand my ground and honor myself and not let anyone take my power away for myself and my family. And that was the hard part because I don't want myself to get hurt or anyone in my family to get hurt, which they did. You know, it was very tough to go through those years um, in that relationship. Um, there was actually a very strong physical attraction. So I think, you know, when we were together, it was, um, you know, toxic. And then it was just fiery at times, you know, very passionate. Um, but I didn't want to continue living my life that way because I felt like I deserved better, you know. Um, with Tom, it was something a little different. Um, I felt obviously I had a a stronger connection in the sense of communication in the beginning. We had a very strong friend bond. And, um, you know, when the lo love started growing deeper, you know, I really, I really trusted him and I trusted his words. And, you know, the things that he wanted in life were very similar to what I wanted and already had in life. We had a lot of commonality, a lot of uh, similar things that we've gone through in life. So I re related to him a lot more so than Jesse. So when I, when there was an issue or a problem, we did talk about it. Um, we didn't argue a lot or anything like that. Jesse was more tumultuous, if you can say, you know, it was always felt like I was on the fence, um, but people change, you know? I mean, it's just, you gotta follow your heart and your gut. And if something doesn't feel right, you gotta take care of it. Do you trust Tom now? Um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's always, you know, someone I'll always, respect and you know I, you guys just have to kind of continue to watch yeah we have to watch and see um is that jesse and tom have become friends i keep hearing this right yeah I've, I've watched a little bit of stuff on you know the media and heard some of that you know exactly how i feel about that as well um but you can't really just stop what other people choose to do so for me to kind of fuel that fire and like comment back on it like in the media or to them it just it doesn't it doesn't suit me. That's not who I am as a person. If that's what they want, then that's what they want. You know, I just, I'm different and that's just their style. That's, you're, that's very, you're taking the high road, Dars. <laughs> Always trying to. <laughs> um, so we're going to see what happens with you and Tom. How would you tease that for the fans? Will we see emotional breakdowns? Will we see uh, any, you know, breakups, fights between you guys? What's to come? Um, I think you guys will see, um, I know you guys saw some cheers last Sunday with the spa scene with uh, Stacy and our good friend Raina. Um, it's just because they know my heart and they know that what I deserve. So for me to empower myself and feel worthy of what who I am as a person, I need to, you know, stand up for myself. So I don't think you guys will see many more tears. I think you guys will hear my voice more and exactly what I deserve and want in a relationship. So I think you guys will see a little bit of that journey in the next episode or two and i think people will understand that and understand more of who i am as a person is this hard for you to watch back like i can't imagine what it's like to watch yourself crying and having like a really yeah. tough moment like that back um you know what i never you know regret anything that i've done in life and relationships it was a risk that i take and my heart will always be open um i think it's very relatable i don't mind showing my vulnerabilities my tears my smiles, my heart. So I think it's a learning, um, you know, phase for myself as well, as long as, you know, other people can understand that journey because maybe it's something that they can relate to and help them through their journey as well. Right. Um, what I love watching you and Stacy. Uh, you guys, it's like you guys have your ups and downs too, but you seem to be there for each other no matter what. What has it been like for you two's twin sister relationship to get uh, put under a microscope. How have you guys learned or grown from it? And what have you learned about your relationship as sisters? Yeah, Stacy and I actually were very tight knit. We're very much bonded as twin sisters. We we live together. We didn't always live together. I think um, people will see a little bit more of our story and how we've been in the past, um, you know, present and the future. Um, we always have each other's back in the end. I know we have our moments and our tit for tats at times, but family member doesn't or twin. Um, but it's because we love each other and we want each other to have the best. So how does Stacey feel about Tom? Is she like, be done with him or what does she think? <laughs> <laughs> she, she had her comments and like I said, she's, she will always have my back. She knows yeah. what I deserve. And I think during that time um, in the relationship, it was really tough because I was confused where I stood in it. But you guys will definitely see um, coming up very soon um, some answers. 
anything you wish you'd done differently looking back? I know you learn from everything, but when you're watching back, like everything you've been through with Tom, are you like, okay, I wish I'd done this one moment or situation differently? Um, I, I think maybe when I was in London, I really, really opened my heart and I really was excited for what the future holds. And then um, when we came back, um, you know, he was busy, I was busy, I have a family and I have work as well. I work, you know, you know, Los Angeles, we have house at 11, he has his things going on. So I just think that I wish that I didn't let myself uh, feel a little chipped away at or maybe deceived because I was like, wait, you just say, you know, you're, you're in love with me, but like, what's going on? Like, I shouldn't, you know, shouldn't have to wait or to, to understand if you're ready for a relationship or not. Just be honest and let me know what's going on. So, you know, I don't waste your time. You don't waste my time. It's like we both deserve love. And, you know, if you're not ready, just be honest and tell me. So it's 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 a process. It's been a, a long process, but um, you guys will just have to see. I know, Zars, I love you. And, you know, I'm watching it. I'm thinking this woman has done so much. She's flown to London. She gave up her time. She's put her everything into it. And so I know fans want the best for you. They do, they do. I get a lot of messages every day. Like, you know, you're been such an inspiration by seeing you go through your journey. It's helped me through mine. And I just want you happy. I want to see you with the right person or, you know, just kind of in, you know, empowering yourself more. I get a lot of hate at times too. I ignore that. I just, you know, want everyone to know to stay strong, stay empowered and never let anyone take your power away. You deserve everything beautiful in life. and. Especially during this time right now in this world, it's yeah. like nothing ever before. It's everything so uncertain. You just gotta stay strong and be there for the ones that you love the most. So, do you think Tom was giving you what you deserve? Um, at that time, no. At that time, no. And I think maybe seeing each other in person, we really needed to kind of hone in on that and just really talk from our heart. At that point, like when we see you go to New York, were you ready to fi to forgive him and to move forward if he didn't said the right things? Um, at that point, I was open to see what he had to say. Um, you know, I have a lot of what love in my he heart, and I just, say, like, what would you have needed for him to hear? We're gonna watch it, but save it. What would have? What would did you want to hear him say as you headed to New York? You know, I just wanted. I was thinking a lot of things on my way there actually and I just didn't want to feel confused about where we were in our relationship and that's what I felt at the time I felt very confused where I stood and what I meant to him so I really wanted to hear do you love me are we together like what is this what is going on like be open be honest with me you know how I feel I need to hear it from you and I know there was pictures and speculation and all that but regardless of all that I needed to to hear it from him. And, you know, it was probably best to do it in person than over the phone. At that time, it was having flashbacks of the breakup with Jesse, like, oh, here I go again. Am I going to New York for a breakup? Is this what's happening? Is this why he's wanting to see me in person? Because if that's the case, I don't want to come. But I decided to go in the end because I needed to feel empowered for myself and stand strong and not fear it. And what was he saying to get you to come? Was he saying, I still love you? What was what was coming from him? Um, after that Skype call, we didn't, he texted, you know, just really want us to, you know, talk, talk this out and see where we stand. I think he really wanted to do it in person and not so much over the phone. So it was just some, some few messages back and forth um, where to meet so we can kind of just um, not really have any sort of miscommunication, you know, through a phone or um, yeah. text messages. So, he wanted it in person, so I honored that, and I went. All right, well, we can't wait to watch. Uh, Darcy, being somebody who's been in this franchise in two relationships, what have you learned about uh, love and the way relationships work, uh, and how have you evolved just being in right. them and, and watching the shows back, too? Right, watching the shows back and just going through it personally, I actually have had a lot of time to just be more self-aware of you know, who I am as a person and heal from the past breaking some past patterns that I've had in relationships that did not work out. I've also um, been able to um, decide for myself what, what I want, you know, creating more of a dream list and, and knowing what I do and what I don't want in a relationship. And instead of being always the giver, where I always felt like I was, you know, the giver in the relationship or the one that would never say, say no. You know, I was very much of a yes person. And now I feel like I'm changing. 
I'm evolving. I'm trans, you know, transforming into someone more confident and more self-assured and less yeah. insecure. And I just want to know that like so many people in this world, you know, you can just release the past when you're ready. And maybe I wasn't ready at the time, but I'm ready. And I just, you know, well, Jesse, even that, that saga is gone, you know, <laughs> bigger, better, you know. Um, if you could, just last question, give me a couple of adjectives, a sentence or two about what we can expect. Tease the rest of the journey we will see between you and Tom this season. Okay, I would say to tease anything, Darcy is empowered, loving herself inside and out, embracing her loved ones and keeping her eye on the prize. Uh huh. How are you now? Are you happy now? Very happy, very happy. All right. So I'm family first, you know, and as long as I'm with family, that's all that matters.